Hello guys, with you today, Mina Kamal. Today we're going to read together my brother, Martin Luther King. Guys, you know, long ago, people were making unfairness, you know, uh, about slavery with black with black people, people from Africa. So that even wasn't fair. I, I don't know even why. Uh, no, no doubt if you are white or black. So, uh, so there was unfairness, and black they were taking black people for for slavery. So slavery stopped, but uh, still was there was unfairness, uh, and people uh, didn't touch black people like they even have a virus or even like that but it was just nothing they're just black people they are human like us so let's read together how this slavery stopped and who stopped it let's start so we started the important story which is called my brother martin First of all, we don't need to read the story without meeting the author. It's so important to meet her. She's Martin's brother, Kristen Farris. <clears throat> and she is the author. She's, she's, uh, she wrote this story. And she, and she is the one world about Martin Luther but actually Martin Luther is famous okay let's start long ago in one in the 19th there was a lot there was a beautiful family lived in a house with two floors Ferris's family um, they were playing together, having fun together, and doing everything in a funny way. Even playing. Uh, that time before the slavery ends. When the slavery ends. So, they are, so that's the So that's the bigger brother, Martin Luther, the hero. And this is Christine. Christine. And this is their smaller brother. Alfred Daniel, their smaller brother. Uh, sorry, guys. Martin wasn't the bigger. He was in the middle. Uh, Christine was the bigger. Okay. Their grandpa, their grandma used to visit them and 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 teach them lots of things. And their mother read for them stories. So, her Martin's father uh, decided to teach him piano. He and his sister and their smaller brother. He was a great piano player, but even one day, uh, the you know their te their piano teacher, they made a prank for for him. He they put the they uh, they uh, unfixed the chair, and when he see and when he was seated on it, he flipped. And and the and everything was great, but they were still so happy. They had two friends who, who were oh, every day ca coming to play with them in the backyard. But one day, unfairness the unfairness came. They went to play with them, but. They told them, we can't play with you. 
mother told us that she you you are black and you lie. So you can't play together. And even even the police asked our family for this. Martin and Alfred went home so sad. Martin told his mother Mother, why this why is this unfairness going on? Oh dear, don't be sad. It, it's just the laws and these things. But I don't know why all humans are like each other. But I don't know why. Even your dad doesn't care for that. Once, remember when you went with your father on your car to do something? And a police officer stopped you and said to your dad, Hey child, stop there. And your dad shouted at him and told him, I'm not a child, and he was dead. And he went and he was angry. He didn't care. But Martin was still so sad. Martin tried to talk with them one day while they were were eating their breakfast. So they all talked about with him about it, and he thought and thought he didn't, he wasn't, couldn't believe that. So he he said he said, "Don't worry, Dad." And my family. One day I'm going to change the world upside down. Let's see if he did that or no. So, this is Martin Luther. That happened really. Uh, her children, his, his children, her, her, his sister, and everybody was there. Even he didn't do anything, but he just talked about this. That's unfair and things like that. People were convinced and thought that he is that he is right. Now seeing that the people from Africa first loved him, what he said about and he changed the world upside down.